Good evening, I'm Jennifer Rostin. Dan Wolf has the night off. Two dogs fated for a life in wire cages and death at a slaughterhouse now have a new start in northwest Wisconsin. The Northwoods Humane Society in Hayward is now a temporary home for the dogs rescued from a dog meat farm in South Korea. KBJR 6's Jesse Slater brings us the story. What do you say? Meet Gummo, a cheery, energetic dog who loves being the center of attention. Little Gummo is socialized, he's happy, he's jumping around, he thinks grass is the coolest thing on the planet. And then there's Stella, a quiet, reserved pup who is just coming around to human interaction. Stella, who's a little shut down, she kind of curled up in the ball, a ball when she first got here, but she's already been up and wagged. But what do these two have in common? Well, these guys would have had a really rough life. Um, yeah. Yeah. 24 hours ago, Gummo and Stella were on their way to Wisconsin from South Korea. They have dog meat factories where they raise dogs to slaughter for meat for human consumption. The dogs were a part of a large rescue operation. Humane Society International goes to these countries. They find farms that are interested in shutting down. HSI has shut down nine factories of this kind in recent years and distributed over 1,000 dogs to rescue shelters worldwide. They were born there and they were going to die there. Now Northwoods Humane Society is working to rehabilitate the dog duo. Both dogs came in with seriously matted fur and little social interaction. After weeks or months of working with them and socializing them and care and love, they turn into a normal dog and they can have a great home. The shelter teaches volunteers how to approach animals with this level of emotional and physical trauma. They have volunteered to come in and socialize and work with these guys and make their lives better. The shelter sets goals for each dog to accomplish and the main prize, find a forever home. The Humane Society is expecting four more rescue dogs tomorrow night. And just this evening, some good news. Little Gummo had a grooming session. Look at him. He looks wonderful. Volunteers bathed him and gave him a haircut, and he looks happy. The shelter decided that with his hair no longer a gummy mess, that a name change would be fitting. His new name is now Ch